So, should I make a video in the House of Lords? <laughs> in, in a big building somewhere. It's a beautiful chandelier in the background. Just out of a nice setting. <laughs> Just even for a small clip. My little message to you today would be 10 thoughts and words to make you feel better. Number one is thank you. Think thank you at any moment you feel bad. To find relief, to soothe yourself into feeling better and to letting go. To finding a higher feeling and vibration. Lately I've been saying thank you out loud. Today, just a few minutes ago, I said thank you to the ATM machine. Thank you, have a good day. <laughs> What you, I said this morning, I said, thank you, just thank you out loud, like for the water, uh, instead of just saying it in my head, say it out loud. Okay, saying thank you to people is very uplifting too, it shows appreciation, it shows a bit of love and care too. Number two, second thought, things aren't as bad as, this, as I think, things aren't as bad as they seem. When we're upset, agitated, stressed, often we're in a dark hole of negativity, we're short-sighted, it's hard to see the light at the tunnel, at the end of the tunnel. To say something like, things aren't as bad as they seem, breathes a sense of relief, a sigh of relief to you and to the other person if you're saying it to somebody else. Okay, that's optional. All of these are optional. Number three. Things will get better. This breeds a sense of hope, optimism, even faith or trust. Often it's true when we're in a dark place, we just see negatively, and often they do actually get better. So to say this helps us to step out of the, the negative place. And to be sometimes often just realistic, things are going to get better. And we can let go. It's all about soothing ourselves into letting go and feeling better. Whew. God. Feeling a beautiful sigh of relief. And to have hope gives optimism and relief. Hope is good, it's stepping up the vibration from anything lower. Okay, so next, next. Next one, okay. Number number four, I think. This too shall pass. This is a saying that's somewhat famous. It just means this isn't going to last forever. Everything passes, including my troubles. This is very beautiful in here. I've never been in a room like this. It's like I'm in a palace or something. Nice, beautiful ceiling as well. Somebody did beautiful decorations. I thank you for those people putting up the candles. It's very nice. That's gorgeous. I'm really happy and appreciative to be here. And this too shall pass. I'll be. Someone will come in and ask me to leave because <laughs> this is this is attached to a big bank in a very old building. I don't know if I'm supposed to be here or not, but there's no harm. In fact, it's, I'm making a video to help people. So this too shall pass. I'll be out of this room. You'll be out of your hassles and troubles. Allow this to make you feel peace, relief, less stress. Allow and let go. Accept for the moment. Do your best and let go. Number five. If Sorry if it's the wrong counting. Number five. Number number five. What was number five? I'm just making this video up on the spot, you see.
I don't have to figure everything out now. It's okay. I don't have to figure out everything now. This allows us to let go of being panicky and stressed and frantic and to give ourselves more time in life to figure out our problems, our issues, our challenges. They're not really problems, but they're learning, expanding, growing opportunities. So allowing yourself to let go of the stress of feeling pressurized and compressed. To breathe, breathe. To slow down and relax more. Instead of to let go of the intensity of the, of the situation, no matter what it is. And to trust and allow life to unfold. So you don't have to, I don't have to solve everything right now. Or even I don't have to understand everything right now. Or solve everything. I don't have to figure everything out. This allows you to let your hair down and allow a bit of time to pass. See what happens, see what unfolds. Do your best and things change and often they improve or they get simpler or easier. Okay, so that helped. Okay, so next number, number six or something. It's okay. It's okay. No problem. It's okay. No problem. Having this idea, attitude, saying these words, thinking these words in any moment of stress or hardship or challenge, no problem. It's okay. Hey, how are you? It's beautiful in here. Is it okay? Yourself, yeah. What? You're yourself, yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful. Okay, so now back again, the person just came in who works here, but this is, you're allowed to be here, it's okay. Okay, so next number, maybe eight, whatever it is. Just say to yourself, people are just doing the best, they're just doing the best, I'm just doing my best. This allows peace and compassion, especially, it allows compassion, it allows the softening of your heart. What it allows is a letting go of your hard heart. So you let go and you allow in peace and compassion. Compassion brings peace. It allows in a degree of affection, tenderness of your heart, love towards other people for their failings, their hardship, their their mistakes. When they when we or they just mess things up or they or we are just acting, you know, we, we lose we lose our sense of ah, certainty, our, our sense of centeredness. And we act up and create some drama or conflict. So just saying to yourself, we're we can we're only doing I can only do my, I'm only doing my best. They're just doing their best. Everyone's trying their hardest, their best, with what they know, with what they understand, with how they've been treated in the past their beliefs, their hurts, traumas, their unhealed parts, their limiting ideas of themselves, etc. Their limited understanding. We're all limited in our understanding in many, many ways. So people are just, we're all just trying our best. This is such a beautiful thought. It really helps.